Walt Grayson is like the mailman. Neither rain nor sleet nor snow keeps him from telling us his regular Monday story. And the story pertains to the other day today, President's Day. Well, it's an unusual story that ties in with one of the most unusual grave markers in Mississippi. It's in Friendship Cemetery in Columbus. The Weeping Angel over the Teasdale plot in Columbus is quite well known, much better known than the unusual story that happened at the very end of the Civil War to Reverend Thomas Teasdale, who is buried here. Uh, now, I've got very little video of what I'm about to tell you, so you may have to make up some of these pictures in your head. But the Civil War populated the South with orphans. And Reverend Teasdale and some others came up with the idea of buying Southern cotton with Confederate money, taking it to New York and selling it for U.S. greenbacks, and then using the proceeds to build an orphanage. Only trading wasn't allowed between North and South without special permission that had to come from the president. Both presidents. Well, Reverend Teasdale was chosen to present the petition to Jefferson Davis and, and Abraham Lincoln because during his career he had known both men. Lincoln, while he pastored in Springfield, Illinois, and Davis, while he pastored in Washington, D.C., while Davis was serving in Congress and also as Secretary of War. Well, long story short, Teasdale made it to Richmond, and Davis looked over the petition and signed it on the back. Then Teasdale snuck into Washington because getting permission to cross over would take too long, and Lincoln, knowing him, took him to the front of the line of people wanting to see him, looked over the petition, flipped it over, and read what Davis had written, and under Davis's signature, endorsed and signed the petition himself. However, on his way back to Mississippi, Robert E. Lee surrendered at Appomattox Courthouse, ending the Civil War, and then shortly thereafter, Lincoln was assassinated. So no amount of the Confederate money would buy anything anymore, and the idea for the orphanage evaporated. But can you imagine how valuable that document is today? The one that Thomas Teasdale of Columbus, Mississippi managed to get with the signatures of both Presidents Lincoln and Davis agreeing to help orphan children from a cruel war. Well, as best as I can tell, the Colgate family of the Colgate Palmolive Company owns that document today. I'd really love to take a peek at that.